Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, what are we at? Friday, 7.30. Just on my way to get Dan. Um, gosh, what a busy, what busy day it was yesterday for everything included, work and videos. We smashed out a lot, which was quite good. I'm just gonna stick you on charge because I don't want to lose the battery. Um, how are you all? <clears throat> We've had some more people join. 30 30 on subscribers which is excellent well done if you haven't get down there press that button do us all a solid um gosh today a busy one <clears throat> we've got dash camera coming in front and rear for chris john's brother we have <clears throat> shark fin roof aerial on a cash kai because the main area was failed and Nissan want obscene money to fix it for the lady, so she's coming to us. Um, <clears throat> and a Lupo for a hedge unit and fish kit. All the water. Um, we've had quite, quite biblical rain all night long. Everything is flooded, and I mean everything is flooded. There's a lot of water. Uh, I'm hoping the digger gets delivered this evening. I've sent the guys some money over as a deposit, obviously pay the rest when he delivers. <clears throat> but he has a he has a plant trailer, so he's going to bring it down for me, which is excellent. It means I don't have to worry about it. Although finding a trailer and towing it with this thing wouldn't be hard, but it just saves me a job. Um, I am in between cars of what to do looking at stuff I'm <clears throat> trying to talk myself out of paying for an expensive RX-7 <clears throat> but at the same time it's one I really want um, yes there are cheaper ones in this country do I want to spend less and get less I don't know Mobile speed, camera it's the speed camera people there's a lot going on um, my, my mind is pinging and ponging between um, all right love all right 25 Jesus um, we've got, so say, storms today. We've had rain all night long, um, and we're supposed to potentially get some snow this evening, early tomorrow morning, so that should be a fun one. We've got quite a busy day tomorrow too. Uh, Dan's off Monday doing his bike test. I'll be back in, or maybe, or I'll be playing on the digger. <laughs> if you're into some digger content, get it down in the comment section. Um, I don't have a digger license. I've, I've got quite a few licenses for, you know, forklifts, different kinds, tow truck, counterbalance, reach. You know, it's all the same kind of thing, levers, levers. Obviously this is tracked, so it's Caterpillar tracks. Um, but I think I can handle it, I'll be all right. But if, if, you, if you wanna see some time-lapsing of me knocking down stuff in the garden, me and wifey have already discussed and laughed about the potential of me driving through the garden shed. Then put it in the comment section. It might happen. It might happen. She's going to carry on. I'm going to get off to work, get a coffee, pick up Dan. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, just before I go, one more thing. We've got one more guy who won the competition. You need to give me your details and confirm your details with email ascaudio at btinternet.com so I can confirm it's you and send you your winning package out, your t-shirt. The other two, sorted, sorted. The other two are good. We just need this one last one, um, just to confirm it's him, and if not, we'll run the prize again. But please email me so I can confirm it's you and get your stuff sent out. See you soon. Morning, everyone. Got our first two in this morning. Dan is working on a Vauxhall Insignia for front and rear dash cameras. This is uh, Chris, um, brother from another mother. He's having uh, yeah, front and rear dash cameras done on this one. So camera in the back, camera in the front, F200 Pro. Uh, um, roof clip this one, mate. And then I am working on a Lupo GTI, which is having Pioneer upgrades. So we're doing 160 on this wiring and everything else. Going in this little bad boy. Don't see many of these anymore. It's a tidy one. Right, see you in a bit. Get cracking. 
Right then everyone, Danny boy's cracking on. We've got our rear camera there. Running through the car, headliner down into the front. We're just crimping on some terminals to go into the fuse board. Mm. Mm. And then me, little old me, it's bloody cold. Can't wait for that snow. So, let me just jump in here a second and keep talking. So this is what we've got, Pioneer 160 DAB. I've put the USB through here, we don't have a glove box. And this thing is uh, trimless. So we haven't stuck a DAB aerial on it, I've put a splitter on it instead, which is then changing the FM to be DAB and Bluetooth as well. Um, again, microphone normally goes here. We've got nowhere to hide the cable, so I've just put it down here out of the way. I'm not about to start drilling on this car because these things are getting rarer. And frankly, if this were my car and a customer, if my car and a, an engineer would put holes in it, I wouldn't be very happy. So this is about preservation as opposed to modification. New touch, nice touch, no touch. <laughs> I think I'm losing the will to live. Or just losing, I kind of got cancer, so I am kind of losing the right to live. But anyway, on a, on a cheery note, I'll see you in a bit. Meanwhile, ASC stump removal. Are you going to put this in the video? In which case, we've already removed the stump, which is down there. Um, but Alex has got other plans for removing a pool. I'm just thinking, dude, that's a lot of water in there. Yeah, but I live on top of the hill. <laughs> yeah, but I live on top of the hill. <laughs> you, you fucking weapon. <laughs> The state of your garden. <laughs> this, is, this bit's getting, so this is where the patio is coming here. So, patio is going to come across there, and across there, I think. Right. I think this is good. Is this goodbye treehouse? No. The tree is staying for a minute. Alright. Look at that precision. Preci Hang on, hang on. Hey? Hang on. Come on. Look at that. Look, hang on, let me get the gap. Go on. Oh! Yeah, let me take this side. Oh! Oh! Go like this pond. This pond's got to go, I think. Have you put the spade down? Yeah. Because that's going to get real boggy real quick. <laughs> no, I'll be alright. Is the power disconnected to it? Don't try this at home, kids. We're trained professionals, or or something, maybe. I don't know. The comments are going to go mad. I'm like. Like, you know, the dude with the. I'm like, digger bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy! <laughs> oh! Ain't no water yet. Still no water. 
Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Go on, pull it. Yeah, I don't want to like, I don't want to tide away. <laughs> just, just gently. A slow trickle, yeah? Just gently. <laughs> I'm so, so happy <laughs> right now. It's like a kid at Christmas. I am, mate. Oh, he's got bigger. <laughs> How's it looking in there? Let me tell you about this pump. <laughs> I really didn't like it. <laughs> Do you reckon? <laughs> I've got a pump. Oh, there's the pump. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. There's still quite a bit of water in there. Yeah, it's like in a, it's in a concrete, um, like, like dish. It was never in a good point. But all of this cement, all of this concrete is not going to go to waste. So when we build our wall here to extend the patio, all of the, all of the crap from this and all of the crap from that underneath, there's loads of brickwork. It's going to be stones. hardcore for this. We've got hardcore here. So once the drain is extended up, we can just fill in this area shingle it, concrete it, job done. That stagnant water sticks. Mate, it's been stood for like months. The pump's not been on because we got rid of it. Wow, there you go. Hey everyone, it's me. It's -a me. It's me. So, we are now signature Morel dealers. And I had to place an order. Oh my god! For some really cool stuff. Can we a bit far away there, Dan? What's that picture like? Uh, it is a little bit far away. Hang on. Lower the, lower I was going to say, let me, let me bring you closer. This is an exciting time. I've never seen Morel stuff before, so oh. I'm, I'm excited. Mate, you're in for a treat. So we got different levels, different qualities. Let me just unpack the boxes first and we'll go through some of it. Uh, this is something, God, they're bloody heavy. Oh, they? Um, yeah, they are. Ooh. Are, they, are they goodies? Yeah. Ooh. They are something that we're gonna have lots more of on the channel. Oh my God, they're heavy. You know what oh, they say the old... about heavy equipment? It's good equipment. If it doesn't work, you can always hit it with it. <sighs> I was looking at their website about that specific stuff that you've got there. Hello? Everyone loves an unboxing, right? Everyone loves an unboxing. Just say, digger. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Morel stickers. Spent a lot of money on stickers and got free speakers with it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> got a hat. We've also got some wave tech stuff. We'll discuss this as well in a minute. Um, Oh my god! <laughs> it's Christmas! Nice! Merch game! Oh! They're the ultra ones, aren't oh. they? They're the ultra slim ones. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh. They're the nano ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one. Some booklet catalogue, yeah? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Oh, 
Well, that would be the grill then for the for the sub. We should have two of them. There should be two. Might be one in the box. Nope. Should be two. There's only one sub. Right. We're missing some stuff. In this there's, box. <laughs> there's no sub in there. Oh, there's not going to be a sub in this box, is there? Put that inside now. Mm -hmm. Do I dare look at the number? No. Okay. vessel and this oh, I know what that is it's a morale stand is it yeah that's cool right we'll find out where the other sub is just put that over there somewhere safe but all set up no not yet not yet I need to go through this first right so um we'll start with we'll just move these out for a minute we'll start with tempos We've got Tempos, Maximos, Ultras. So we'll just pop off these. We've got some lovely <laughs> help. Some lovely crossovers. I'm pretty in there. Yeah. Might want to get that camera a bit closer, mate. Yeah, man. Some lovely crossovers. Some lovely. I might even bring it down another level. No, that's fine. That's fine. Leave it there. So we've got some lovely morale speakers. So these are the Tempo Ultras. So a nice mid range textured cone. Nice, nice magnet. Nice basket. Terminals. Nice and strong. Don't look flimsy at all. Really, really weighty boy. And then we have. Big tweeter. Oh, look at oh, that. Wow. That's nice. So it's in a little holder, as you can see. It's slightly elongated. That's very cool. Mm hmm. Nice. Beautiful. So that's the Tempo Ultra Mark IIs two-way component system. Then we've got the Maximo. Little label, look at their grill quality. Brushed aluminium, but gold colored. Very nice. Little tray. And then again, we've got some lovely small crossovers mid-range with a slightly smaller magnet not as heavy as the Tempo Ultras but still feel quality um, same again tweeter in a little pod adjustable or not you could flush mount it if you wanted to I'm gonna save the uh, special ones to last Then we've got some some goodies. Yeah, move the merch over there, darling. 
Um, we've got Maximo's we've done. Carbon fiber sub. We should have had two of these, so I'll have to chase the other one. Um, oh my God. Come through the wall, boys, why don't you? Thanks, Dan. Ah. So there's another grill. We have got no other sub. Alright, weird. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the camera can't see it. You wait. Jesus. That's a heavy boy. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, you grab the speaker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. How's about that? Oh my god. Look at the build, look at the quality in it. That's, that's, I'm not messing about, that's, that's quite a weighty thing. Gold terminals, push fits. Peach. What a peach. Um, just have a look on the receipt, mate. Does it say we had two subs? Weird, we got two grills. So then we've got, we move on to the, these are the Morel Tempo Ultra Mark II coaxials. So not a component system, but again, nice big hefty magnet, really pretty, well built look. Nice terminals, sweeter in the middle, textured cone. Oh, smells good too. What? So, because I've not seen that before, what are these? That's a capacitor. Oh, right. What it's basically doing is it's like a like an active crossover, but a passive crossover, not active. So it's basically filtering okay. the sound. So it's not letting the bass go to the tweeter. So it kind of protects it. So there's some coaxials. Nice. We've got a few boxes of each. Just start us off. Then this is the BMW Retro Kits. Look at the quality in this, look, unleash the music. It's soft. Foam. Oh, look at that. So we have all of, let me just lift this out of the way for a second. As you can see, BMW factory plugs crossovers, mounts. Now with Morel, they give you, some, some companies when you buy the BMW stuff, you have to get specific for that BMW, otherwise they don't fit. With Morel, when you buy the kit, they give you every adapter. So you can basically make a speaker fit any, 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 any BMW. BMW, yeah. So you can just keep adding, changing these and make it fit. Look at the quality on that, oh, that, that lovely little shiny ring. Nice thin driver, so it going in between the door card and the hard surface of the door. And these are designed for any BMW. Yeah, yeah. That is gorgeous. All right, and we've got all of the crossovers with BMW plugs on. That's so cool. it's it's designed as a plug and play system, and you get trim tools to take your car apart. Right? And the tiny little tweeters as well. Look at them. Yeah, hang on, I'm going to get them out. Just sit that back in there where it needs to go. Put a cover on him. And the tweeter has the design on this grill. Like that, it's just a work of art. It'd be a shame to hide it behind trim. It would, wouldn't it? It's just beautiful. Look at that. I appreciate things like that. Something, something well made. Gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. 
I thought you were about to say something else then. No. <laughs> this is a family show. So that is the BMW reference Co uh, components. We'll leave them till last. Um, we've got the uh, another set of those. And we've also got the under seat BMW subwoofers. So if you're familiar with BMWs, you get like a really weird size sub under the seat that's reverse mounted. Well, now they do a bolt on, so framing to bolt to the, it's plastic underneath the BMW, so that doesn't vibrate. Get a lovely design basket. And there's your sub that bolts in, and it's got a factory plug as well. Ready just to That's take cool. one out, put one in. How pretty that is. Also, quality, quality stuff. Very nice. And we've got two of those, so we've got a complete kit ready for uh, Ben's, Ben's car. <laughs> wait, we, which one are we doing? Well, I don't know. He's in Dubai at the minute, so I'll wait till he comes back and show him this lot, and we'll be uh, we'll be booking him in. <laughs> I thought we were doing the Nissan. We've got to do the GTR, but he's also got BMWs that need doing too. Okay. So that's the subs. Um, right then, save the waste till last. We have ordered some more of these, so there should be another thing on that invoice that's uh, a sub amplifier. That is also on back order, I would presume, because we've got a thousand, thousand. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, just, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't need you to read it out. Just confirm that it's on back order. So these WaveTech amps, um, they're a new, new to me thing. I've used one before and actually was really impressed with it. So that's a four channel amp and it is hand size, right? Hand size. Um, it's it's made with the aspiration that it's designed by engineers for engineers so it's not bells and whistles it does what it needs to do and it's well thought out connections screw terminals you've got your allen heads power which will be a four gauge input remote four gauge earth and then your speaker feeds probably a 16 i would say looking at that or maybe 12 gauge control on the top inputs and outputs uh, sorry high level low level inputs on the back outputs this side but that I think we're going to do lots of these so we are actually building a morel stand which is going to have the subs some speakers amps um, yeah that's coming now the pièce de résistance is it on a back order what, one of those yeah no. okay yeah, I love it all right, I'll have a look at that. Right, okay. The only thing that's on back order is supposedly a 12 inch, 300 millimeter octopus grill. You've ordered two. I've You've got, got two. Yeah. But it says that you do. I'll ring them and chase it. Right now, this is the special one. Um, this is the one that I'm interested in. I've used it? these on a car before. Steve's got them in his um, in his uh, his Ford MSRT. Um, and they sent me this, right? Now you can understand that when I got this, I originally thought these cheeky so-and-sos had sent me a set of grills. Because if you look at that, yeah? So I thought it was a set of grills. I didn't actually think it was a speaker set. These are the Virtus Nano Carbon. This is what you get. You get crossovers that look like they should be in area 51. With all your stuff on the bottom. How pretty is that? You get your warranty owner's card. You get some really gorgeous grill tweeters. So are again, another work of art. Really, really pretty. And then you get all your fixtures and fixings. Then you get this. Now I looked at that and was like, idiots. They've sent me the grills, not the speakers. And then I turned it over and realized there's actually a speaker in that. <laughs> this is, I think the mounting depth is, it's either 17 or 19 millimeters. But literally if you have a door card with a space issue, like even the, the BMW stuff, 
has to be a thin speaker to fit behind the door. Like you can literally cut these out of a piece of MDF and they will not foul the piece behind it. Got your terminals here, obviously your component in mids, tweeters, but look at that. Like, come on, it's just ridiculous, right? How thin it is. That's actually a speaker. I mean, what, what gets me is if you pull the tweeter out of the box as well and put it side by side, it's almost as thin as the tweeter is. Yeah. It's, it's insane. <laughs> but all reverse engineered inward, so it keeps its, its look at the, look, like, that's yeah. its mounting depth. <laughs> that's it. That's, it's like, it's, it's thinner than my finger. And can you remove those grills or are they fixed on? No, 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 these come off and you get the carbon goodness underneath, but you've got to pick them off. And I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that just yet, yeah. But yeah, oh my, look at it. Look at the mountain depth. That's ridiculous. Look. Oh, it, it, it's not touching. <laughs> so we are now Lotus dealer uh, for Morel which I'm dead excited about. Um, something cool that we're gonna get into. A nice nice high quality stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bad bashing, uh, bashing kicker at all. We will still be a very, very big kicker presence. We will have a very big kicker presence, but we also want to offer something different. OE parts, OE replacements that you can't just wang a big speaker into is, is something we need. And this is gonna fulfill the higher end and the original um, gap as well as being able to take a big step up yeah do some nice speakers in nice cars yeah that's going to be awesome or nice speakers in bad cars like whatever I'd, I'd rather have sounds than a shit box J-Reg Corsa with <laughs> is, that a, <laughs> is that a shit box <laughs> J-Reg Corsa with Morel in it yeah why not why not we'll, we'll do it well, that's it guys um, yeah very very happy about the haul I've just got to find out what's missing uh <laughs> Dan's itching to open some more stuff. Oh, more stuff. All right, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. Right, we're done for today, everyone. Um, unfortunately, we haven't had time to get back on with the caddy because we have been busy picking up diggers and all sorts of stuff <laughs> and playing. Diggers and looking at Morel's uh, Yeah, um, yeah. The DPD managed to leave that equipment outside my door. We were out. Um, fortunately, the guys next door spotted it and managed to put it in their workshop. But yes, DPD. Just it started raining. Yeah, DPD left that lot outside um, a, a closed unit in a in a busy industrial estate. So, well done them. That's that's absolute genius. Um, but yes, we are now official Lotus Morel dealers. This thing is having its upgrade, and we are going to have Lotus in a Lotus. How cool is that? So, keep your eyes peeled for that one. Old Lucifer's getting an update, um, and we are now unleashing the music with Morel. How cool is that? See you in the morning, everyone. Saturday's going to be a busy one.